out and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am that simma chick all right go ahead and subscribe hit that like button and hit that bell so you never want to miss a post all right so i'm here with my sim self again all right and today we're going to do a quick little video on mine to go to mods all right i only have a few basic mods that i i feel like i can't live without in my game i am not a huge fan of of like tons and tons of mods like i occasionally um will like find a new mod and maybe put it in my game for a while or switch it out and that's only because when ea be having these patch updates it's just too much to keep up with what needs to be updated what's not getting updated and what's causing your game to break all right so i'm gonna show you my must have some of them are mods some of them are overrides that I feel like will make your game more realistic and not take a toll on your PC if you are working with, you know, minimum memory, all right? So my sim self is in here doing whatever. So I'm gonna have her go to the living room, all right? And we're gonna have her watch some, well, why is this, the music going, y'all, all right? So turn off and we're gonna have her watch some TV, all right? So we have to wait for her to come, you know, like we're on her time, all right? So here I go. Not you walking through the walls, girl, all right? So, yes. So this is an override by Alexis Ariel. Um, it is Patreon. She is a simmer here on YouTube. Great content. Uh, Patreon fire or whatever. She has this TV override, which I really like. There are other creators that have TV overrides, but you kind of have to, like, place them in the folder where you have to watch them as movies. Um, I like the fact that hers basically are, like, TV channels. So when I click watch a channel, for instance, if I click watch Bravo, I'm going to actually get the Bravo network, whereas some of the other TV overrides, um, they're TV shows, but they're like in the movie category. So like here, you can go here and you can basically, um, watch movies here. This is another override here, but it's basically you're watching, um, a movie, not actual TV, but it's also cool. But I will go with the aerial override. It's more realistic to my game. And like, um, if I click like channel uh, serve. Um, your sim is gonna, you know, surf a bunch of variety of TV channels, okay? So, like, there's a commercial here, Popeye's commercial. You have, um, what's the show again? Black Ink. So, it's just more realistic, all right? So, then we're gonna go over here to one of my favorite cooking, um, mods, okay? This is the Granny's Old Cookbook. And I'm going to link everything down below in the description box so it can be a little bit more detailed because sometimes I do forget the actual creator's name. So if I don't mention a creator, just know that it will be listed below in the description box. All right, so this mod here is basically a cookbook. And um, the creator has it where you can download a variety of recipes, basically add it to your game. Um, they also have um, desserts and drinks and etc. And basically, your sim can cook, um, you know, like food. So you have, you also have the barbecue, but you she would have to have a grill. So mind you, this does require your sim to have a certain level of um, cooking skill. So right now, this because my sim is brand new to the game, her cooking skill is only at a level one. So right now. She can basically only make grilled cheese with tomato soup and fettuccine alfredo, right? And then it breaks it down into the serving size. So, like, we're going to have her make some alfredo. Okay. There's actually another cooking mod that's by Ice Mama. I think I'm, no, Ice, Ice Mond. Yeah. That's actually, it's not a cookbook, but it's similar. Basically, you download, um... The mod for that and then you download several recipes which is which will say custom food right now it's not showing up because uh, she only has a she needs to have more cooking skills to cook some of the recipes that's in there but it does have um custom drinks 
So if I click here, custom drink, um, alcoholic beverages, she can get beers here, okay? And there are also custom drinks that you can add to your bar, but she doesn't have a bar. So she can get a beer. And for the sake of the game, we're going to get a Heineken, okay? And yeah, so that's another mod that's really cool. So now she's reached level two. So, all right. So now we're going to go over here to, she's getting her drink. So we're going to go over here to her laptop. All right. So if you go to the laptop, um, let me see if it's on here. Or can, all right. So we have apply for a credit card. All right. So this credit card mod is by Little Miss Sam. In order for this credit card mod to work, you will need S and N fields, which we'll talk about next. All right. So the apply for credit card is actually attached to S and bills. Um, S and bills kind of gives your game um, realistic functions that you actually have in an actual household. So let's go out of this and go back to S and you know, so we won't get confused. All right. I know I'm kind of like talking fast, so I apologize. So if we go here, we're gonna click household. And if you go show bills information, you have your home services, right? Um, and then you, basically your home services is like your cable and your lights and cetera. So you kind of can click what items you want, but it's basically an actual bill. You know, in real life, we know we have mortgages and rent to pay, but then you also have your cable, your TV, um, your cell phone, basic internet, lights, water, etc. And then if you have a child, um, you can get child support. If you got married, you can get alimony. Um, so that that's kind of cool. And then you have the pay with the SN Bill app. So with the SN Bill app, all right, um, in order for this to work, she needs to open up a bank account, which she does not currently have, okay? So with the bank account, when your sim gets a job, okay, your sim can kind of either a job or if they're doing like um, the social media, not social media, but like YouTube or like music, you can like choose what percentage of your check you want to go within your bank account into your house funds. All right. So that way, like if you had like three sims in your house and you want your sims money to just be theirs, you can put that in the SNB app. Okay. And it's, it's like direct deposit, all right? And then they can actually go to a bank. They can actually send money. They have, you can download the actual bank from the gallery that's made by SNN Bank that they basically, I think the only thing that you have to download off the website to get like the, um, like the name of the bank is like some of their CC, but everything else is basically base game, all right? And so that's actually cool. So then you take it back and you go to this computer so it says pay bills with household account. So that this would be the household account. Ooh, child, her bills is is completely high. She see sis don't have enough money to pay her rent. So I can see her rent or her utilities. So she's about to be broke. All right. So um, if you click this computer, Lord, I should have had a regular computer, y'all. All right. So you click this computer. And you click apply for credit card. This is a little Sims mod that I like. You, your Sim can actually um, apply for a credit card within the game. Um, have to pay it back regular. Um, so that's cool. All right. So if I click apply credit card, so you can buy a card. So buying a card is basically you give like a gift card to somebody. But then here's the credit card. So you have like ten thousand, twenty five, twenty five thousand five thousand fifty thousand right all those have to be paid back all right so the next mod that we are going to go to that is a must in this game is mc command center all right so this is basically mc command center on the computer um so there's more functions i ain't gonna hold y'all i never really actually use the functions that are actually like on the computer but um, we're gonna go through these together so you have the reset settings reset all the specific molecules for all molecules back to the default setting values um mc woohoo this mc woohoo changes the behavior of your various woohoo and try for baby interactions available between sims we have mc pregnancy which what you can kind of like 
manipulate manipulate your sim. So typically in the actual sim in the sim game without any mods, you cannot just accidentally get pregnant, right? At least I don't think you can because I've never tried it. I know that in the actual sim game, you have to get reach um, a certain level before your sim is willing to have sexual intercourse and then a certain level to where it pops up that says try for baby. So these basically allows you to basically make your game more realistic when you can add these functions in your game. So it could be like a risky woohoo where you basically don't, you know, have no control over if your sim gets pregnant or not. All right. So when we get out of here, if I click shift, well, I don't even have to click shift. Um, if I click my sim here and click her and click MC command center, you will have more things up here, right? So the good thing about this is um, if you click on another sim, it'll let you know like how many kids they have and a spouse and et cetera, which it doesn't do that in the actual game itself. So this is a great treat. So you can actually modify house and cast. Um, this is cheats. So with the cheats, it's basically you can increase funds make them happy complete aspiration goals we set the sims um what i what i basically love using this for is relationships wise because in the actual sim games in order for you to build relationships with other sims in the game they have to be introduced to each other you can actually use this or and also click the mailbox and use this and basically set your relationships up in your game so when you already start you can have um, who you want to maybe be your sim's mother or your sim's sister. Like, these are the people who don't live in your sim's household. Okay, so that's actually cool. Um, and what else do I use this for? So, same thing with the pregnancy. Um, uh, pregnancy start. I don't want her to... I don't want to do that. So, yeah. So, you're basically manipulating the game. These are, like, send commands. You can do teleport commands. Um, maintain sim set age. And so, yeah. And you can also, like I said, add money to your game, all right? So then we go back over here, back to the computer again. So a lot of these mods work on the computer. Um, you, we have the Wicked Whims mod, all right? Wicked Whims mod, as you know, is the mod that adds a little bit more spice to your game. And when you get the Patreon version, I believe this version is now opened up to the public. In the past, it wasn't. But this version of Wicked Whims actually gives your sim the ability to be on Sim Hub, create a Sim Hub account, can actually work for Sim Hub, uh, make money off Sim Hub, actually gives your sim the ability to open up um, their own strip club. How you do that, um, you have to do it through the cell phone. Um, let me see. Is this it? Yeah, so you click here. And I believe it's supposed to be where you go to the cell phone. All right, so she has to go. She's gonna have her work from home, but she's supposed to be going to work. All right. Um. Purchase. Okay, here we go. So. You do it from, well, where is the sim? Buy a restaurant, buy a retail store, National Bank. Oh, I just had it, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, so this would be buy a strip club. You can only do this from the cell phone, and you will only be able to operate it from the cell phone. The other things you could buy with Wicked Whims is you can go to the Wicked Whims store. The Wicked Whims store sells birth control, condoms, pads, tampons, um, if your sims catches lice, STDs, so you get everything from. Do you have the fertility treatment? Now, Tanner Salon and then Period Tracker. Another mod on here, which I really can't show to its, to its full convenience because she does not um, do drugs in this game. But um, this is drug um, based mental, which is cool because um, other age, you can have teenage sims drink alcohol with this. You can use this also to add bouncers to venues. There's also um, the gang mod that goes along with this. So if you like wanted to kind of have your sim 
be, you know, top drug dealer or whatever the game and have like a game, a set of shots, etc. You can do that. So now, if she was somebody who smoked, you know, little Mary Jane's in and there, this is where she would go to get her supplies, you know, such as like her roll ups, etc. She could do it on here on the computer as well, too. And I know once you reach a certain level, you can actually order drugs off the dark web. Otherwise, she would have to go to somebody that's designated as a drug dealer and build a relationship before she can buy drugs from them. All right? So, all right. So, another mod that I have in my game, and so my sim is outside talking to um, Complete Stranger, is, is if you click her, um, it'll come up is we have extreme violence, and they're pretty much all by the same people. Um, there is another one that's not showing up. Is it, oh, that's because she has to be in a relationship to use it. Um, it's a stream romance. They are all by sacrificial. Um, a stream violence. I'm not gonna use it, but um, as you can see, it kind of speaks for itself. All right, she can actually take. Oh, she can twerk with this. Let me see. She can twerk with some money for this. Let's see. Girl, that is not twerking, girl. girl what is she doing, y'all? All right, so yeah. Um, as you can see, yeah, you can call the police. Um, she can twerk for money. Yeah, she is acting real. She is not giving what it's supposed to give. All right. Run for the so anyway, yeah. So then another mod that I like to use is UI Cheats. Um, I will say I didn't download this mod until I got um, my desktop, my computer, my PC, my gaming computer. And that's just because, yeah, I, I, like I said, I was playing on a Mac. And I just, certain things just, just, just did not function well on the Mac. Computer. But with the um, UI Cheats, you can basically um, cheat um, your sims. So basically right here, like you see my bladder's going down. If I just click that, it, you know, it goes up. Everything goes up. Um, she's over here making money, y'all. Um, if I wanted to, if I click this, it'll go up by, it'll go up by a thousand dollars. So the romance, um, mod is actually cool i would have to show that in another video because i really can't show that in this video because she doesn't have anybody to do that with but then there is the lgbt mod and so this one you can kind of put your um sim sex such a sim sexual identity and who they put i don't want to say preference but who they are attractive to um you don't have to use this mod to have like these functions in your game um but it's, it's a cool mod because like your sims can be like an activist for the lgbt community they can host like meetings and events for it and so that's cool and then you have the pose pack i'm not sure this is actually considered a mod but it it's a it's a must right so you, you need to have the pose pack and it's a teleport mod there is a statue that's in build by that you basically get and you place it um, anywhere you want where things are allowed to be placed and you have your sim teleport to that statue and then that's how you get your sims to basically um, do poses and stuff so uh, poses will come from different creators um, but this is how if you ever go like on um, Instagram and you see sims and you're like, how do they get poses like that? So, And you can also do, like, TikTok dances, etc. And so that's actually cool. All right. So sis is over here. She doesn't pay good money. Maybe she can pay her rent now. So, yeah. Those are basically some of the mods that I use. I, like I said, I try to keep it a bit minimum at, like, what I actually feel it's needed. Um, I do have other little mods and traits and stuff within this game. Um, but don't really use them as much but these are like my go-to mods or whatever so yeah if you have any comments so yeah and that's it so if you have any comments or any mods that i basically discussed in this video comment below like i said everything will be listed in the description box about the various mods overrides that i talked about in the video and yeah like always don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace <laughs> 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 <laughs>